let me ask you about artificial intelligence rap. Yeah, I, that that's a thing. Well, you know, rappers now are like really pissed about their voice being used. They have Biggie rapping um, Mini Men. It's on YouTube. Yeah, I've seen where they got Frank Sinatra singing some hip hop songs. Yeah. Yeah. So right now, what it's looking like, I guess, from an artist's perspective, corporate can now take Aries' voice and punch in AI and say, hey, uh, tell these jokes. And we don't really need him anymore. Granted, well, well I, 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 we all know that that's corporate's way of trying to get out of uh, breaking bread. But I really believe that deep down inside, people respect the art form. People aren't going to fall for the banana and the tailpipe because people understand that the only way you can be touched is by actual people. Corporates looking at it from a dollars and cents. But and, and this is where sometimes I feel like the business disrespects the artists because they, go, they like to go, hey, it's show business. This is show business. And they put emphasis on the word business like that's somehow more important than the show. But you can't have the business without the show. They, 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 they're, they're mutually important. You know what I mean? I don't care how much you try to say it's about the business. Without the performer, you have no business. So it's like, do I, do, are we really going to get to a place where we go, I want to go pay whatever the price is for a movie ticket to go see two uh, dynamite performances by Denzel Washington and Viola Davis in Fences but they're AI performances. How do you how do you AI that? How do you AI her Viola Davis when they did that scene with Denzel and he was like, I've been standing in the same place for 18 years. And she goes, I've been standing with you. Her Oscar, her snot deserved an Oscar. All the snot on that bitch nose and the tears on her face. How do you AI that? That that's a that's a soulful, guttural, emotional human performance and I don't think that can be replaced by machines so I think that I think that corporate and the machine and the man and I say those three together because I think they're all synonymous but I think that's that's a level of disrespect to the artist and, and I think ultimately you know which is what this writer's strike is all about I think that ultimately thank God for the people because I don't think the movie going public the music listening to public is going to uh, uh, tolerate that because they know the difference between stepped on and non-stepped on Coke. And they want their Coke pure. You know what I mean? We want it in its purest form. Chi-Chi, get the Yale. Chi-Chi, get the Yale. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> you know, I was going to mention that next, too, the writer's strike. Right. Is I think it's... Well, I know one of the things that they're talking about, the writers are saying that the Hollywood is using AI. Yeah, they want to, you know, any, anywhere from AI writing the scripts to they pay you as an actor for a one-time performance, and then they can use your likeness whenever they want, as many times as they want, and you see no residuals. You get paid a one-time fee to perform, and after that, your services are no longer needed. They can just use your likeness without your permission, however many times they want. And and come on, man, that's horse shit. You know, that's absolute horse shit. Meanwhile, they make all the money from streaming and however else they want to use your likeness. Nah, come on, man, nah. That'll be the, that would literally be the death of 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 actors. It's over. That would be the death of the industry from a performance standpoint. 